Hello. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to set up and use an SSH key with Git. It's pretty common to use SSH when accessing Git repositories, and sometimes setting up your key can be challenging if you haven't already been using SSH. GitI provides everything you need to use SSH, so you don't need any other clients or uh, command line tools to work with it. You can access it right from the dashboard by clicking on SSH settings. You'll see it's going to show you where your home is for SSH. So if you're already using OpenSSH, um, this is the default location for it. So it would automatically just pick up your key and you really wouldn't have to do anything. I'm really going to more demonstrate for someone who's never used SSH and needs to generate their key. So I've clicked on the key management tab. You see you've got a couple different options for generating a key. I'm just It doesn't really matter which one you choose. I'm going to generate an RSA key. It's a good idea to add a passphrase for your private key. Um, that protects the actual key itself. If someone were to get the, the key file, your private key, they couldn't use it. So I'm going to go ahead and put a passphrase on this. And then the next thing to do is save that. It's going to prompt me to create the folder because it doesn't exist. I say OK. Go ahead and save it. It says it saved it. Um, go ahead and apply that. Now the next thing you want to do, as it says on the dialog, is you can paste this public key into your remote authorized keys file. So I'm going to just show you how to do that as well. I'm going to, in my case, use GitHub. So I'm going to go ahead and copy this to my clipboard, say OK. I'm going to switch over to my web browser. I've logged into GitHub here. I'm going to go into my account on GitHub, edit my profile, go to SSH keys. I want to say add give it a title and then paste. So I'm just pasting in that public key that was in the dialog. Go ahead and add that. I have to uh, enter the passphrase that I used. So it's just a protection. And there you go. Now it's in, in um, GitHub and ready to use. I'm going to go ahead and uh, I'll just show you. I'll go to a repository I created. Um, say I want to use SSH. I can just uh, copy that URL to my clipboard. Switch back to GitEye, click Clone, say a URI, contents of my clipboard are already in there, say it's SSH. It's the first time it's connected to GitHub, so it's just asking me to confirm the fingerprint. I'll say yes. It's also creating a file where it can store that in the future. Now finally it's going to prompt me for the passphrase for my key. You'll get this once each time you start up. You see it was able to successfully connect to GitHub and read it. I'll just next, next, finish. And I've cloned my repository. It was a really small repository, so it's very quick. Hopefully that will help you out if you need to generate an SSH key. Thank you.